When it comes to cutting hair, precision is the name of the game, which makes the haircuts on display at one Argentinian barber shop all the more impressive. You see, this barber was born without both of his hands. Gabriel Aradia has become an inspiration in his home country and abroad by exhibiting a level of dexterity most barbers with ten fingers could only dream of. Aradia says strong support from his friends and family encouraged him to live his life to the fullest despite his disability. In fact, he began cutting hair by following in his mother's footsteps. At the age of 14, he began to take interest in her work as a hairdresser. Esto de ser barbero surgió hace ocho años atrás, cuando mi mamá era peluquera y yo tenía todas las herramientas de ella y se me dio de curioso de, de empezar a agarrar la máquina y nada, y, y empezar a cortar. Although turning his skill into a profession didn't happen until later. A lo primero lo tomé como un hobby así y después me lo fui tomando más en serio cuando vi que me iba gustando más y, y me iba animando más nada me gustó y ahora amo hacer esto es pasión para mí. He began working professionally in the Argentinian city of San Isidro. It was there he met the president of Argentina Corta, a charitable organization that offers assistance to barbers from around the country, in addition to other community building events like barber competitions, where Aradia is said to be a formidable opponent. He then moved to Buenos Aires, where he cuts hair today, and he gives back to the charity that helped him. Yo también participo en Argentina Corta y hacemos eventos solidarios, ayudamos a los comedores en Corte Solidario y nada, ayudamos a la gente. And in spite of everything, Aradia says he wouldn't change a thing. Doy gracias por nacer así, porque gracias a esto yo nunca me puse límite. It just goes to show that Mr. Aradia is truly a cut above the... In a video, la tensa el a'jaba wal ishtiraka fi al-qanat.